Hi Capricorns, Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have another bomb tarot reading. Yeah, we do. I say that with confidence, Capricorn, because I'm looking at these oracle cards. I am. I hope you guys are well. And if you would like your own reading, Capricorn, you may get a tarot or a psychic reading. Uh, they're really a lot of fun. The combination, we do the psychic reading first. I don't know much of the situation. And then uh, we do the tarot reading and we discuss the psychic reading uh, we do, and uh, mm -hmm, they're just really a lot of fun. So yeah, let's get into it now, you guys. The link is below, uh, the calendar link, if you would like to do that. And uh, yeah, Capricorn, this is a very cool reading, and we have the Emperor here, and this, in this deck here, he's wearing a suit, he is, uh, he looks like he got, has a few bucks there, he has a tie on, right? We're not telling you you have to wear a tie, no. He's showing, he has a compass in his hand. And, you know, uh, this is in the Law of Attraction deck. But this is somebody who knows what they want. This is somebody who has matured. Yeah, and they are, uh, you know, focusing on their future, basically. That's why he has the compass, right? Now, the Star Brothers are here. Yeah, and, you know, they're all starry-eyed. They are. And uh, here's the man. He's meditating. He sure is. And uh, here are these birds. I'm not sure what kind of birds they are. I'm not really. But uh, this is Horus energy, right? Uh, the eye of Horus, who was an Egyptian god. I believe he was. Protection, loyalty, safety, and trust. And that's what somebody is trying to protect their future in this reading, I believe. Yeah, I feel like they are. And over here, Capricorn, we have uh, these uh, few cards here. The third house. Uh, which talks about communication. Uh, the third house is Gemini. Yeah, communication, definitely, right? Like the king of swords, basically. Transportation, local community. Yeah, uh, which is interesting because, you know, uh, Sagittarius is the long distance transportation and uh, basically our travel. And so we have this third house energy communication. I feel like communication is coming to you because... Uh, this card, can you hear me here, is, speaks about somebody who's lonely, who wants to, who wants to talk with you, Capricorn. They do, right? Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, we have the Ace of Gabriel. Yeah, here, here, they're showing uh, the beautiful woman. So uh, I don't know why they didn't put Gabrielle, but hey, it's fine, right? Uh, I didn't make the cards, no. Uh, but, you know, beautiful, right? This, uh, this, you know, angel. And this is the Ace of Wands, I believe. A gift of passion, opportunity, and inspiration. The chance to do something amazing. A sense of wonder. Okay. And we have deep knowing. So somebody knows all about this, right? Here's the owl and uh, the moon's here. And, uh, mm -hmm. and so this is deep knowing. This is very kind of high priestess energy. Uh, it's very intuitive and psychic. Somebody knows here that they want to protect something uh, and that they have grown with the emperor here and that they know their they know their path, right, with the compass. Yeah, they do. And they're like, mm-hmm. And we have surrender, restoration, and trust. Yeah, somebody's surrendering to a new path in this reading. That's why he's holding that compass. And Gemini's here as well. Maybe they are Gemini. Uh, maybe your maybe uh, your your moon is Gemini or your rising. Yeah, I was, forgive me. I was gonna go say maybe you're Gemini, Capricorn. <laughs> and uh, hey, uh, you you know maybe that is your rising sign or your chart ruler. Yeah, this this really big here. Your chart ruler could be uh, some sign that you go really. Whoa, I didn't know that. Okay, so multifaceted, balanced, and curious. Yeah, Gemini is a curious sign. That's why they're you know. Uh, sometimes they are detectives. They like to read and it's all about the mind, right? Uh, mm -hmm, intelligence. And so, uh, there's somebody's curious here about a new path that they want to protect. Yeah, that's, it's very cool. It's like it is. And we also have manifestation. So we know they want to protect and manifest this. Yeah. How dare they call it manifestation, right? Just showing it's a man's world, right? Uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just kidding. Yeah. I'm, I'm kidding here, kind of. Well, sort of, but sort of not, right? Uh, it could be uh, womanifestation, right? Womanifestation, <laughs> which would sound a little funny, but hey, it's fine, right? 
uh, you know, I'm just kind of making jokes here. And she's got kind of like this eight here, kind of like a, it's kind of like, it looks like infinity here, but, uh, you know, she's closing her eyes and, uh, she is, uh, wanting to manifest something. Yeah. And some guy named David McKenna was showing you how to do that. I thought that was interesting, right? You have to be in a kind of, uh, receptive, open, uh, divine feminine energy to do that. Right. And there's, it could be showing her because she's a woman, divine feminine. Right. And other uh, birds here and the sunflowers are here and she wants to manifest. Somebody wants to manifest some, something. They're lonely. Can you hear me? Yeah, that's a lonely card and it's a communication card. Let's get into the reading Capricorn. And yeah, this is going to be a very cool reading. It is. And somebody's coming to manifest a union with you. And they're lonely. Yeah, they are. Mm -hmm. And so, mm -hmm. so we have Capricorn. Maybe it is you here, but it could be your person. It could be either because these are general readings. Yeah, it's what we need to kind of get and understand here. Let's see what we have. We're going to put these cards out. Uh, for Capricorn, yeah. And I have to be careful with uh, naked naked images here because, you know, yeah, this is a, a family channel. Yeah, it's on during uh, before prime time. I feel like it is or whatever they call. I don't think they have a prime time anymore. <laughs> they have a whatever. You can play whatever, right? Yeah, they do. Probably in the mainstream. I'm not sure here, but let's see what we have here because I don't watch that, right? No, I don't. <clears throat> it can be a bummer. can be sometimes, right? Like lower your vibration here, you know, you see too much. Just too much, too much stuff going on uh, in the main, right, mainstream. Let's see what else we have, Capricorn. We have the Six of Wands, and the overall energy here is the Four of Pentacles. So somebody wants to hold on to you, Capricorn, because, you know, he's holding on like, I'm going to protect this. Somebody wants to protect protect you, protect a relationship with you, protect a future, protect a path, a new path, because we have the emperor holding the compass. Usually he's holding, I don't know, uh, you know, something else, right? Or, you know, he's sitting with his power, sitting in his power, things like that. Let's move these cards. You guys, too many cards kind of showing up right here. Yeah. Uh, and we have to cover these, uh, these naked cards we do here. Mm-hmm. Woo. I hope they don't ban my reading here. No. Let's see what else we have, Capricorn. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Let's get going here. Capricorn, we have a lot of great cards in this reading. Sorry about the lull. Just trying to make sure there's no people who have, uh, you know, undressed here, these images, right? <laughs> At the last minute, right? Yeah. And, uh, mm -hmm. and so Capricorn, uh, we have a major recognition and this could have happened a long time ago. Somebody recognized you as, as a soulmate. Yeah. Somebody we have deep knowing here. Uh, mm -hmm. and we have a passionate opportunity with the ace of Gabriel. Maybe their name's Gabriel. Maybe it's Gabriella. Maybe it's Gabrielle. Uh, we don't know. Uh, I think it's a pretty name though. Definitely. And, uh, mm -hmm. and, uh, or Gabby maybe. Right. And this is uh, a gift of passion, opportunity, and inspiration, the chance to do something amazing. That's what somebody's protecting a chance, a chance for a union. They're like, this could be a once in a lifetimer. Yeah, I have to protect this, right? Yeah, let me get my compass. That'll work really well. If something really bad happens here, I can point it at somebody and boom, right? To protect me and my family with a compass, right? <laughs> no, not, no. And so, uh, you know, here we have though, Capricorn, this is crowning you, these energies here. Here we have the Ace of Wands right here, right? And so this is about the Ace of Wands. It is a passionate opportunity, inspiring here you are, the Knight of Pentacles and the Death card. This is crowning you. This is what you are reaching for. You're reaching for a transformation in your life. This could be how we are seeing this, right? This could be 
what's coming to you next. It's just right above you. And uh, down here, Capricorn, this could be uh, influences leaving your life or somebody else's. Here we see the Eight of Cups or your person's, not somebody else's, right? Not a stranger walking down the street, right? No, it's probably not a stranger here. It's very deep. So, <clears throat> I mean, they could be returning, but it could be somebody that you know that's going through something real deep and maybe you guys didn't have a, a, a solid relationship, but they're seeing you as a life partner here. I feel like they are now, or at least a serious commitment for sure. Here's the eight of cups and somebody's walking away. This is about to happen. The queen of swords is with it. Maybe that's you discerning this, but I feel like it's whoever's doing this walking away here. They're doing it because of a divine intervention. They're doing it because they think they believe the deep knowing card. That other person is a soulmate. Yeah. They, that's why they're doing it. And uh, over here is something that's being left behind as well. Or, and this, whatever's being kind of left behind or influences right here is a spiritual knowing with the high priestess and the knight of cups. You might have been a secret Capricorn. You could be a secret, right? Told you about that sneaky stuff, Capricorn. Just kidding. Right? <laughs> I'm just joking here. Right. But you know, here somebody knew in the past, that's what this is about. This person knew in the past. That's why we have deep knowing. This person knew that, or you knew that you could manifest something beautiful here. And that's what the Ace of Gabriel is talking about. The chance to do something amazing, a sense of wonder. Amazing. I always have my friend tell me about somebody who's amazing. She happens to be a Sag, right? Oh, it's just so amazing. <laughs> I feel like that's great for her, right? Yeah, celebrate. Celebrate love, right? Celebrate love for your friends, right? Of course, celebrate any love, right? Because it changes the world uh, for the better for all of us. Yeah. Now in here, this is in the near future, or this could be about to happen. The tower, the world, and the queen of wands. Now we don't know if they're a fire sign. They could be this queen of swords here. They could be a, uh, you know, water sign. They could be another earth sign. We're not sure, but, uh, the energies are a little bit more relevant here. I feel like they are, uh, you know, Mm -hmm. but Hey, they could be anybody here or anybody else because it's a general reading. Now the world card and the tower card, these are, these are endings. These are cycles. These are lessons being learned. This is a huge shakeup and a lessons learned or a huge, it could be a huge breakup, but with the tower, when the tower comes in, it is, it causes a huge like earthquake type of situation. Basically, I shouldn't be talking about that here in Cali right now, <laughs> but you know, uh, talking about, you know, it could be a, a huge, uh, breakup, breakdown, uh, you know, earthquake, uh, terrible time for somebody, but it's for the better. Yeah. That's what the tower is usually for. So don't get upset because you see the tower. Because whatever is falling here to the ground and that's on fire and the people are falling out, it's because something better is going to be built. Something that is more firm, something on more, uh, something that is more stable. And somebody knows that here. They're like, I'm going to have something more stable. Maybe they are Gemini Capricorn because here's a Gemini card and the third house is Gemini too. And so is the queen of swords. It can be I mean, queen of swords could be Aquarius or Libra could be. Right. But I'm just saying here, they're, they're good for some. There, there's a lot of Gemini energy is all I'm saying here. Now the tower is Scorpio, right? Scorpio is, uh, the planet of Pluto. This is death and, you know, rebirth, or, uh, also we call it regeneration. And that's what the tower is here for to regenerate. Yeah. It's to like, Hey, get out of town, whatever was going on. And sorry that you cried over it or tripped on it or, you know, you really, something really happened here, but something, something, you know, something major is about to go down here and a cycle is going to be closed and a wish is going to come true here. Maybe you're traveling to Capricorn. Cause we see the guy with the red, he's, he's walking away here. You know, he's not going to get far on foot, but Hey, that was in those days. Right. And, uh, 
you know, maybe he has his little magician and, you know, maybe the genie's going to pick him up. Maybe he's going to fly astral, astral travel, right? Yeah. We all do it at night. Yeah. That's why sometimes you might have a dream that you are flying. You probably are in your dream. You're probably actually flying and, you know, flying around in like astrally traveling, but you know, astral travel. They say that you're not in your bed at night. You're somewhere else, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. So somebody's walking away here and, uh, there's going to be a huge revelation because of this Gemini energy too, right? It's communication. Gemini is the podcaster, uh, the reporter, uh, you know, can be the researcher, anything about communication in the mind can be education, but it's anything about, uh, about something that you either speak about, you study, you know, right? Yeah. So, you know, somebody, I feel like there's going to be a powerful, there's already been a powerful realization that somebody's a soulmate here. Now there's going to be a powerful revelation. Hey, guess what? We're, I'm, I'm walking off this path. Yeah, I'm out. I'm done. There's this energy in this reading, right? Yeah, a surrender. We see it over here with a waning, waning crescent moon. Yeah, and uh, interesting about the waning crescent moon. I think it's a void of course moon here when, when you are not supposed to. It's right before the new moon, the void of course moon, pretty sure. And you are not supposed to be really making any decisions in, in, during the void of course moon. Yeah. So yeah, I can't wait to start talking about astrology uh, later on in, uh, <clears throat> on another channel. Yeah. And so here's the world card. Somebody learned a lesson. They got their butt kicked though, Capricorn. They did because of the tower. Whoever learned the lesson here got their booty kicked. Yeah. It's like, you know, it's kind of like when Capricorn or Saturn, not you guys, Capricorn, exactly. But when Saturn comes in to teach you a lesson, yeah, with restriction and rules, or you just see you're so restricted, you're like, well, I learned this lesson. I'm stepping out. I got it now. So down here, Capricorn, is uh, somebody's personal energy here. So this could be you here wondering if somebody's going to stand maybe about a fire sign, but the King of Wands is here. I feel like it's more like, are they going to stand, uh, stand, you know, stand in their convictions about what inspires them or what is passionate to them. And that's you. We also have, you know, uh, two majors here. So I feel like you are probably, uh, in, you know, doubts and fears a little bit here or confused if this journey is going to happen or if you're going to overcome whatever you're trying to overcome here. It could be just, you're waiting for somebody. It could be this, this person's in another relationship too. That's possible here. It is. And whoever, this is somebody's either home or work here. We have the magician, the page of swords, and we have the hierophant. So if this is somebody's, somebody's, uh, <clears throat> somebody's energy, uh, regarding their work or their home, This could be you. This is your reading. I feel like you are wondering if you're going to manifest this. And it looks like it's a marriage. Now, you could be wondering if uh, if somebody will step into their power, possibly, with the magician, because that's what he's all about is power. But I feel like this is more like a new beginning and a manifestation with this uh, magician here who looks like a, a real cutie kind of, I don't know, kind of native mix and just a cutie pie here. He does. Uh, <laughs> I say that because usually the images on the cards are like, they're, no, they're not, you know what I mean? But yeah, physically, yeah, he's a cutie pie. But, you know, we have Capricorn here in somebody's, somebody's energy here is a wondering. I feel like you're wondering if you're going to manifest this, uh, whether or not they believe in this enough or, but I feel like you're wondering if you're going to manifest a marriage. It does look like that, a marriage. Now your hopes and fears here. Yeah. The ace of pentacles. So we know you're hoping for something solid to come in for you. And, uh, you're wondering whether or not right here, if there is, uh, if you're going to have a victory, I feel like you are also wondering if something's be being defeated here and something is being defeated with the eight of cups and with, uh, it, it could just be a belief system here, but uh, something's being defeated here and it's major. 
right? We already know belief systems are major, right? The way you think is controls your life. Your thoughts create your reality and that it's that it's that it's true. And, uh, it's really hard for some people to get with that. They're like, what? No, but it's true. Okay. And every ascended guru will, you know, and guru is maybe not a good word, but maybe it is right. Ascended master, uh, enlightened person, things like that. Right. Uh, we'll, we'll tell you that uh, all day long and twice on Sunday. Right. So let's see what we got here in your outcome. Capricorn is the Knight of wands and it's showing up with the page of pentacles and the ace of cups. Now you're wondering here in your hopes and fears, but you look like you're going to manifest this bing bong all the way here, right? Yeah. Bing bam. Or what is it? Yeah, it is. Uh, and we have Capricorn for your person's extended reading here, uh, is the stormy card. So they're going through a storm right now. This is their overall energy here. And that's what this tower is right here. Whoops. With the world card and this eight of cups. This is their, this is them dealing with something very stormy. And this five of swords that you're wor that you're wondering about here is that storm. So here they are and, uh, they're dealing with the storm and they feel like you're worth it. Crossing them as dependence. He's not happy. No, he's not. This is not like, Oh, this is your person stepping out of a relationship that where they feel stuck or they felt like, I don't want to like, I don't want to deal with this anymore. Right. They just felt stuck here because we see the empowerment that this person feels like they're going to have with you. We're going to end this reading. They're all super affordable. The link is below in the description box. If you guys want a, uh, a psychic reading, they're really a lot of fun and you find out, uh, things about people you never knew. Yeah. And also, uh, we have, um, the tarot readings as well. The calendars below. And uh, I always recommend both. Yeah. Cause those are the most fun. Thanks so much. And please remember to like, share and subscribe.